Turn it more. You see in the road? Yeah, like that. Nice and even. All right, guys, guess what we got? We've got version 10 up in here in Canada. So we have um, finally got the version 10 release. And what I want to do is I want to show you guys the interface and I want to show you the autopilot today. So welcome. Welcome. How's it going? How's it going? Vince Revolution here. And we are testing out version 10 on hardware 3.0 to see if there's any improvements on the autopilot. And I'll show you guys in a little bit something really cool, which is the fact that you can see all the other cars on the other side of the road now. And the autopilot seems to be a little bit more responsive as well. You can see here also over here, over here, that um, you, can, you can get a drone shot of your car, you can zoom out, you can pinch out, and you can get a nice 360 of your car. You're zooming close here, huh? So you can see there that I can, I can see 360, which is really cool. Um, in some other videos, I don't know if there's a, there's an oncoming car coming up right here. Didn't pick it up. So if it's two lanes over, it's not going to pick it up. As you can see, there's oncoming car coming, but the interface is not picking it up. So yeah, it's not picking it up. But what's cool is that you can really zoom in here and you can see your car and you can see the other cars around you. And even up ahead, there's a pickup truck and it's picking up that pickup truck way up ahead. It's like three cars ahead and it's picking up that pickup truck right over there. See that? And it's picking it up as, oh, not a pickup truck, as a, <laughs> as a moving truck. My wife's laughing now because I kept saying pickup truck. But it is picking up pickup trucks. So picking up pickup trucks and it's showing vans as well. I'm not sure if it's showing SUVs as vans as well. I think it's showing SUVs also as vans. So that's really cool. And I'm on autopilot right now. Let's see how, oh, I gotta get over to the right-hand side. So gotta start signaling over here. Let's see if this uh, that car will let me in here. Hopefully, yeah. Yeah. Thank you, red car. One of my favorite features is really to um, to use this camera here, and you can see exactly what's behind you. Because some people have actually complained about the Model Three and your line of sight at the back. Um, I haven't had an issue with that. It's a little bit higher. I think it's pretty much normal for for sedans, though, um, especially hatchbacks. Uh, with my SUV, obviously, I'm I'm getting a lot more field of view at the back. But yeah, you can see here, it's going to pick up this pickup truck. Where is it? Oh, it doesn't see it. Oh, wow. Nothing is showing. Oh, okay. There it is. There it is. Just picked it up. Pickup truck right there. So you can see there, picking up that pickup truck. So really cool. All right, we're going to turn here and uh, let's see how autopilot does. Now, if there's been any improvements in autopilot. We're just going to the... Toronto Tesla dealership right now because there is a paint issue and hopefully they'll give me a loaner because I've confirmed that they will give me a loaner I need it today we've got a couple shoots coming up but, uh, but yeah so I picked up that car moving over and now it's gonna go and I'll show you guys something interesting here today too which is uh, how it stops and how it starts because you'll see that there's a car in front of me I'm at a red light still doesn't recognize red lights at this point uh, I do have full self-driving and before when it would turn green and the car in front of you would go the problem is it would it would accelerate really slowly and usually the people behind me would get kind of pissed off and then <laughs> and then pass me but um, but watch this okay so green light and you'll see it's going to take off and it accelerates much much faster now I do have my distance set to 7 so it's keeping its distance so let's see if I can um, I'll keep my distance short and then at the next red light we'll do that again but this time um, I'll keep my distance shorter so that oh, it's telling me to turn here so 
I'll do it the next one. There's still a few hiccups in autopilot that I've noticed, uh, but for the most part, um, it looks like it has improved. Now, where exactly it's improved, I'm not sure. Oh, there's a there's a red uh, Model 3 there. And, uh, okay, so it's picking this up. Let's see that. Oh, look at that. It's picking up the... Uh, just picked up that uh, the 18-wheeler. And that's turn, telling me to turn on pharmacy, so... I'm just going to go autopilot the entire way out. I'm capturing your hands too. Okay. And um, for those of you that are wondering, because a lot of people were talking about autopilot before and how it, you know, the blue thing would come up and the light would come up. So where I have my hand placed right now is perfect for autopilot. It will pick it up. But if you have your hands placed here, if you're just holding it, sometimes it won't pick it up. But if you place it here, then it's perfect. I could have actually let it do it in its own lane change there, so. I still prefer to do my own lane changes, but uh, it's, it's neat. I mean, if you're tired and you don't want to think too much, it'll, it'll change lanes for you really good. Okay. So it'll pick seats, picking up that car coming across. That's really cool. Another thing, is that um, it's picking up more lanes now. So I'm, it's showing four lanes, even though there's not four lanes here. But um, there's two lanes and then there's uh, a little bit of a, I guess they could use that as a lane later on if they need to expand this road. But there's a part where there's uh, trees planted. Okay, this is where we'll do this, is um, behind the school bus, it's picking it up as a truck or, it's picking it up as a bus, interesting. So let's see, and boom. You can see that it picks up much faster now. It picks up almost as good as a, a human being would react. Right before it kind of picked up slowly, like somebody was on their cell phone or something. It was a little delayed in this reaction. Now it's perfect. Let's see how it takes this intersection because this is a tough one. Some construction here. Let's see how it's going to create the lane. There's some cones and it did it. Nice. Good job. So in there, it showed, um, it even showed the left turn lane there. So it added, there's a left turn lane and it added that in here. Sometimes it, would pick, it wouldn't pick that up, but it did now. It's just, it's cool because you can see so much behind you now. I can see the car behind me and then I can see a bunch of cars just around me. It's really, really, it's really cool. It shows you that the cameras are really, really working now. Probably not where they want it to be for full self-driving, but really cool. And um, another thing that I can't show you guys right now, but uh, we have a web browser now, which is really cool. So I can go on the web and I have a web browser. So that's really cool. Look at that. Boom, web browser. Web browser in your car. That's really something else. Um, I didn't have that feature before because this is the standard range plus and then there's entertainment feature and there's Netflix there there's YouTube um, there's Spotify wait does Canada have Spotify I'm not sure I'll uh, I'm gonna do another video on that I'm gonna check on it later So far on pharmacy, doing a real good job of just staying in its place. And you can see the cars on the opposite side now. Uh, once they get into one lane over, two lanes over, you don't see it yet, but there you go, you see a car there. And then we'll probably end up seeing all these. Oh, see, picks up a biker, awesome. Whoa. There's a biker, there he is. Picked up that biker, that's cool. Look at that. And then you'll see the cars. Sees this car turning here, does it see it? Looks like it's picking it up more when cars are moving there. It's picking up these cars here. 
So before it didn't do that in the version nine, it wasn't picking up cars. So, so the intelligence of this car and the AI of the neural network is really, really doing great. I've been on autopilot this entire time so far since I started this video. Every once in a while I've manually disengaged, but I haven't had to disengage it because you know it's made wrong moves or something like that. So, so far this entire video, boom. So yeah, I think it'll pretty much um, take us all the way there. Uh, so I have no doubt, because once we get off a of pharmacy, I know even with regular autopilot uh, on Lauren,